Hi and hello everybody. Today in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you as to how you can run the latest version of Mac OS X, the L Capitan on your Windows operating system as a virtual PC. So there are some prerequisites for that set of files that you might require. All the links have been given in the description. Just to get started with, you need three basic files, the virtual box itself, which is our virtual uh, software, which runs the virtual operating system and some codes. And of course your uh, installation medium, the OS X L Capitan installation medium. The code here is for modifying your virtual box. That is basically your uh, Mac OS X has been designed to run in IV bridge based processors but the windows runs on Haswell processor. So you are making the virtual box think that the CPU is IV bridge. So that is why you need the virtual box code. The installation medium file has been split into seven parts and the links have been attached. So before you get started, download all these files and even before that, you will need to check whether your system is compatible or for virtualization. I have already made a video and the link you can see on the screen. Before you get started, please check as to whether your system is capable of virtualization. So if it is yes, then so let's proceed. Download and install the VirtualBox Manager when you open it up, this is how the opening screen looks like. Click on the new onto your top left corner. Give a name for the OS. I'll call it OS X. Sometimes the virtual machine itself recognizes it and gives you a selects the OS from the drop down. But just in case if it doesn't, you scroll down and please select the appropriate operating system and then click next it asks you to allocate a uh, ram space for the virtual machine that you are creating i have a 4 gb ram installed so i'm giving half the i'm allocating half the size and then it says create a virtual disk now and uh, use an existing virtual disk we already have the virtual disk that is the installation medium what I talked about choose that and select the click on the folder option browse and choose the OS X 10.11 L capital dot VDM okay. click OK and then click create before you start, we need to tweak uh, settings a little bit. Click on the settings. Go to the system option. We don't need the floppy. And under the chipset here, you need to change it to PII X3. And then in processor, set it to 2 minus a four core processor so I'm setting it to two display video memory set to full 128 MB then click OK you are done with this now so before you can start um, we need to make the virtual box think that you are working with an IV bridge processor so we need to enter some uh, codes in the DOS prompt so open your command prompt and open up your the file that you downloaded the virtual box code file and you, you need to change the OS X with the name that you have given in your virtual box. So the name that I have given is L Capitan OS X L Capitan copy this and 
and and in this one choose control H or replace in the replace with option paste what you copied from the virtual box and now you can close your virtual box and find what copy OS X give replace all I don't want to save it I just want to run this so open up the command prompt copy each of these line by line and paste it there Okay, now we are done tweaking the virtual box. And now you can click on the start. Okay, now you can see the welcome screen. Choose the appropriate country and continue with the registration. Choose don't transfer any information now. Don't enable location based services. Just click continue and click don't use. Don't sign in into the Apple ID and continue click skip it will give you a list of terms and conditions agree choose your time zone Uncheck bo both the check uh, check boxes. Click continue. So we have our Mac OS running here. So as it is a proper keyboard has not been allocated for this Mac OS, and also you see that uh, the display resolution is somewhat very small. So in the upcoming tutorials, I will show you as to how you can install a keyboard for your virtual Mac as well as install a bootloader and then fix the display issues of your virtual Mac. So this is the end of the part one of the tutorial. If you find this informative, please subscribe for more such videos and see you in part two of the video. Thank you.